Hi crafty friends, it's Scrap Nuts, or Jana, however you know me. We are on entry number two on the Scrap Nuts 2K Challenge and Giveaway. Um, I'm doing over on Instagram and also YouTube. So if you've been following along, we are on number two. We've got lots to go, so hang in there. Today's video is from... It is Scrap Goodness. So she's Scrap Goodness over on Instagram, and I will leave all the links down below so you can find my little Miss Lillian over there. She's amazing. She's an amazing crafter. And she sent me this beautiful card. And literally, I feel like this card is kind of like the same one from entry number one, which would have been Denise. Like, maybe they're friends. I don't really know. But these are, like, really, really nice cards. They're, like, very, very well made they're heavy like they're heavy very thick um and they're really glittery and they're just they're just gorgeous like you would i you could frame this or use it you know so anyway thank you lillian for playing along entering my challenge and supporting me here on youtube and instagram i so appreciate your lovings so the challenge was two bows two seek or two bows two shakers and two rosettes so let's see what Lillian made us okay so this would be probably the extra entry because you could also since my two favorite things that are hard I struggle on is sequins and bead dangles I'm like if anybody makes you know one of those as an extra you can throw that in for an extra entry so it looks like Lillian has all of her entries so she'll get the max amount of entries in there all right so here are her two bows are they not adorable and they're made out of vinyl now if you've heard me say this before a lot of times people send me stuff and I won't open it because the presentation is just so adorable I end up leaving it so she's got this all cutie up with some bows and doilies and I would have to say this looks like Erica's die, the little double loop bow from Erica it could be, but these tiny, oh my gosh, these tiny, tiny bows down here, like I would not even be able to hold that in my finger to wrap the little threads, like she's wrapped in thread, that is too stinking cute, and then she finished it off with a, ooh, this is like a really firm, like, it looks like it's made out of the tool, cute, and she decorated it all up. They did not have to decorate. They could just make it and send it if they wanted. I was so simple. I like, I like challenges to be simple. If I'm going to enter something, I'm like, oh, go easy on me. So, because I get too distracted with all the rules and then I, I think I get too crazy. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I supposed to be making? Because, yeah. So anyway, I tried to make it as simple as possible. I said, decorate it however you want. My favorite colors are this. It's spring. You know, take your pick. But right now I'm on a rainbow kick. So this was a really good choice. Thank you so much, Lillian. All right. I love it. She's got them all. The shakers are, the shakers are full. Like, and this one's done in like my vibrant colors because... Yeah, pink and aqua, but I do like those. This is a cute, a cute mix that she's got going in there. There's like a million different little things in there. So super cute. But I do love the bright colors. And if you've been following me along for this challenge, you know that the prizes for the people that actually enter the, the because there was two parts to it. You could just win the Maggie Holmes collection. Um, that was easily done just by sharing and liking and what whatever else goes along with it. And then, uh, but if you wanted to go the extra mile and do the challenge part, you got that entry plus you got um, a chance to win two prizes. And if you've been following, you know that I used really bright colors on on it. Went with a crafty girl theme. So thank you so much, Lillian. These are adorable. I love them. And this bow, this bow is like amazing. I do not know how to do this. I watched YouTube videos. I have yet to try it. I should try it. You're going to inspire me to try it. Thank you, Lillian. It's adorable. So not only did you send two bows, which was part of the challenge, but she has decorated everything with bows. So look at all the extra bows that you have. And those are really cute. That was made out of the really chunky glitter too with a double loop bow. Super cute. And I love this rosette. I do not have this die. Like I don't have a rosette that cuts this. So that is super, super cute. And this is a nice summery color. So I'm struggling because I'm ready to move on. But I got some stuff on my desk. I need to finish. So all right. And then this is her extra entry for um, it's the dangle and tassels. Got the bead dangles and 
because I struggle. Gosh, I don't know what it is. It takes me like an hour to put two beads on a wire. Like really, what is that? I don't know how I can be so creative in one one part of or one category, but fail at another. So thank you so much, Lillian. Um, go give her some love, you guys. And stay tuned because we have a whole bunch more that we have to share. Have a great day, guys.